The Celtic Nations. These are six regions at the edge of Europe that are all tied together by having Celtic languages and culture. These nations are Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Brittany, Cornwall and the Isle of Man. Of these six regions, only one of them is currently an independent country, that being Ireland. Scotland, Wales, Cornwall and the Isle of Man are part of the UK, while Brittany is a part of France. Each country has a Celtic language, but sadly all of these are in decline. Some are twice in schools, while others had to be brought back from extinction. So what if all six of these nations united into one Celtic Union? The idea of pan-Celticism isn't unheard of. Organisations like the Celtic League and Celtic Congress exist to promote the Celtic languages and culture. The Celtic League even supports further self-governance in the Celtic nations and ultimately for each to become independent countries. So how would this Celtic Union form? So for the sake of this video, let's say that the United Kingdom falls apart. All the Celtic nations recognise their shared identity and decide to unify. Scotland, Wales, the Isle of Man and Cornwall decide to join Ireland, which had recently united with Northern Ireland. Finally, Brittany would have to leave France. Brittany is the name of one of the 18 regions of France, but only around 80% of the historical and cultural region of Brittany lies within it. The traditional capital of Brittany is Nantes, but it isn't included in the region of Brittany. Instead, it is part of the Loire Atlantique Department in Pays de la Loire. This department would be given to Brittany, forcing Pays de la Loire to change its own capital city. Now let's zoom out again and look at the Celtic Union as a whole. The land area of the Celtic Union would be over 221,000 square kilometres, ranking 83rd worldwide, so larger than Belarus and just smaller than Romania or the United Kingdom. The country's terrain would range from the hypers of Brittany to the plains of Munster up to the highlands of Scotland. The tallest mountain in the Celtic Union would be Ben Nevis in Scotland at 1,345 metres. The country would be divided between multiple landmasses, Ireland, Great Britain, the Isle of Man and the European mainland. Many smaller islands would lie off the coast of the country including the Hebrides, Shetland Islands, Anglesey, Belle Ile en Mer, the Arid Islands and Ratland Island. The population of this new country would be over 20 million having less than Australia, but greater than Romania. This population would speak many languages, Irish, Scots Gaelic, Welsh, Breton, Cornish and Manx, as well as the non-Celtic languages of English, French and Scots. The Celtic languages are currently minority languages in all six nations, so the government of this new Celtic Union would try the best to revive them, while possibly discouraging the use of English and French. The country wasn't be united in religion either, Ireland and Brittany are predominantly Catholic, while the rest of the states follow Protestant denominations. Tensions could arise in some areas which may not want to be a part of the new union. Violence could erupt again in Northern Ireland, with the Unionist community not wanting to join Ireland in the Celtic Union. Meanwhile, another border dispute could be created at the English town of berwick upon tweed which is located near the Scottish border. Watch my video on the topic to learn more. Politically, a federation would probably be the best form of government, with each state having its own language, people and culture. These states would correspond with the six Celtic nations, unless Northern Ireland wanted to secede from Ireland to become the seventh state. The largest city in this new country would be Dublin, while some other important cities would be Glasgow, Nantes, Edinburgh, Reng, Belfast, Cardiff, Swansea and Cork. A capital city would have to be chosen for the country, possibly leading to a dispute between Dublin, Glasgow and other cities. Perhaps Douglas on the Isle of Man should become the capital city because of the small size of the Isle of Man compared to the other nations. Dublin would remain the main financial centre and the home of the busiest airport in the country. The Union would have a GDP of over 780 million, ranking ahead of Saudi Arabia and just behind the Netherlands. Some of the main exports from the country would be pharmaceuticals, machinery, foodstuffs, fishing, oil, gas and tourism. Currently only 5 of the 6 Celtic nations are in the same time zone, with Brittany being one hour ahead than the others. 
established and he would most likely go back one hour to unify the country more and to make business easier. Another problem for the new country is how isolated each state would be. No road or rail lines would connect any of the nations, so air travel and ferries would be vital to keep the country united. A bridge or tunnel could be built to join Ireland to Scotland, but that would be a massive undertaking for the new state. Finally, let's discuss some national symbols for this new union. A national anthem and flag would have to be chosen. The current anthems of Wales, Brittany and Cornwall all share the same tune, so using this could be a good idea. Perhaps it could be like the anthem of South Africa with many languages, or each language could have a different version. For a flag, there is one already. The Pan-Celtic flag, designed by Brescia and Robert Berthelia in 1950. It consists of two interlaced Triskelion spirals on a green background. This flag is also sometimes used for a Celtic Union. It is made up of the flags of the six Celtic nations, as well as the flag of the Spanish region of Galicia, which is sometimes considered as another Celtic nation. The concept of a Celtic Union is an intriguing but also an unlikely one. In this video I've only scratched the surface without talking about what its military, currency, foreign relations or more could be like. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you've any ideas for future videos put them in the comment section below. Thank you also for 1000 subscribers on this channel, it's great to see the channel grow and now I'll have the community tab as well. Expect some 1000 subscribers celebration announcement soon. Subscribe for more on Ireland, Europe and the world.